January 1994, a relatively quiet month that sadly saw the loss of Cesar Romero and Telly Savalas, while Mr. Blobby remained at number one in the UK music charts, much to my nation's eternal shame. It also witnessed the premiere of Babylon 5, the release of Toad Jam and Earl in Panic on Funkatron, the establishment of the NAFTA agreement, and the assault of Nancy Kerrigan, orchestrated by Tonya Harding's ex-husband. But more important than any of that, it also saw the release of White Dwarf No. 169, featuring the Codex Space Wolves cover art by Jeff Taylor, while the inside cover boasts a tooled-up assault squad of Ultramarines, bravely charging into a unit of Gretchen. The month's releases include Codex Space Wolves, the first Codex of 2nd Edition, a Warhammer 40k painting guide, Beyond the Fell Handed, two blister packs for the Adeptus Arbites, and a separate release for the plastic models from the core boxed set. It is worth noting this month also saw a teaser for the release of Dark Millennium. Interspersed we have adverts for the Space Wolves Codex, Golden Demon 1994, the Rhino and Space Marine Assault Squad, as well as two EV metal pages featuring Bjorn the Fell Handed and Goff Orcs. This issue features two articles yet again, and an excerpt from the painting guide. The first covers everyone's favorite not street judges, the Adeptus Arbites, and the second is a lengthy treatise on bunkers split into three parts. The Arbites article is typical of its kind, featuring the background, with a special mention of Ica 4, an important planet throughout 2nd edition, as well as rules for their iconic shotgun and army list entry. We'll likely cover the Arbites in a separate video. The painting guide section is an extract from the painting elder section, with lengthy descriptions and four stages each. It might be fun for me to follow it sometime in the future, using the coat der arms range, which is as close as you can get to the old citadel colors of the time. This issue's bunker fetish kicks off with four pages of rules, two new missions, a data fax for the bunker itself, followed by a new scenario for the booklet contained in the main boxed set, and, finally, the bunker itself. The catalog pages conclude our look into White Dwarf 169. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment for more second edition content. Praise be to the Omnissiah.